Hi everyone, it's Sam back with another plan with me spread for all those bullet journal addicts out there. I'll share how I came up with these two spreads, starting with the gouache set I use and how I get those muted beautiful colours and neutrals. You'll see how I created all those fine details of winter foliage and then the final page will be a blown up illustration of the winter foliage done in paint and pen. So let's get started. As mentioned in my last video, I used the Royal Langnickel Gouache Essential Set, as you can see here. It's a set of 24 paints, all nice and bright and cost effective. All 24 cost around the same as one high quality tube of watercolour paint. I chose to swatch the gouache paint on bullet journal paper. I used a piece of the Scribbles That Matter Pro version bullet journal, since that's the one I'm going to be using. And as you can see, there isn't too much in the way of warping and there is no ghosting or bleed through. So here I am choosing my colours for my pre-drawn window page. I choose three blues and a yellow ochre, a brown and a purple which are very important in helping me create those toned down neutrals. So I'm going to touch upon a little bit of colour theory. When you mix a blue and a brown, you'll create a really nice dark grey tone. And for my toned down yellow, if you take a look at the colour wheel, you'll see yellow and violet are on opposite sides of the colour wheel. So if you mix them together, you will get a yellowy brown colour which I wanted for the yellow stone around the window of the old stately home that I was painting. I added some of the grey mix to it as well to give it that oldie worldy look. I mixed some blue with this toned down yellow to get some sort of aged greens, uh, which I mix with the yellows and greys to paint the wall. Here I'm mixing up more of my yellow ochre, cobalt, French ultramarine, just to get a more concentrated uh, set of colours, the same colours, to continue painting the rest of the spread, which is going to be completed in those sort of toned down watery greens and yellows. Get the hairdryer straight onto these pages afterwards though, because it really does help with dealing with warping. You might want to look at last week's video where I go into more detail. I go into how I use my fingers to smooth and hold the pages taut when using the hairdryer to get them as flat as possible. I just quickly want to show you what's coming up next week. It's this beautiful snowdrop theme with a gradient wash. And I show the drawing of the snowdrops and show you how I get that lovely morning sunrise look with the star still in the sky. I hope you will join me. Now back to our misty stately home window and all that beautiful winter foliage. I'm using more concentrated paint now to paint the finer details around the window and the brickwork. The bullet journal paper seems to be able to cope with me putting these layers on with no problem at all. I paint darker tones around the edges of the windows and the windowsills to suggest that the window panes are recessed into the wall. I use my blue and brown paint to create my grey mixes that I will use with a fine brush to outline all the windows and brickwork. The window is really coming together now. So here I'm mixing a more concentrated versions of the greens, the greys and the, and the off yellows for the wall and the brickwork, again to keep suggesting that this is an aged country home. I 
Once these pages are dry, I'm going to start adding the pen outlines. I'm using the 0.4 fine liner pens. Uh, everything is linked below that I'm using today. And I'm using the fine liner pens to go over the pencil drawing that I had there initially, showing bird feeders and details of the brickwork and the outline of the window itself. Outlining everything with a pen just makes it look more punchy and you can put some crosshatch shading as well to emphasise the dimensions of the window. Now we come to probably my favourite bit of this painting, which is where we create those misty trees and branches and the birds all in these dark, dark tones. I've mixed up the grey with the brown and the yellow and the greens to, to create these dark colours. I think those twisty dark vines left over the building and brickwork in winter really creates such an atmosphere and really sets off this picture, I think. I use my tiniest brush for the fine vines and then use my Jackson's Arts quill brush to do the larger trees and as you can see here the, the bark and all around the edges of the page. I'm doing the birds now with that dark blue grey mix using the blue and the brown paint. I just wanted to give a suggestion of birds being there in the mist but not really show too much detail. I hope you are enjoying this video. Do consider subscribing to my channel for weekly bullet journal videos and artwork. I'm trying to make sure I get decent content on the channel every week. Now I'm going to mix up a large batch of the blue and brown paint, but with more emphasis on the blue. So it just means I add more blue in there. And the point of this is to paint all the teasels and hogweed that you see at the base of the trees um, and I'll do that right across the spread. Teasels and hogweed are very architectural looking plants that exist in the hedgerows around our motorways and roads in the UK um, but you do see them around trees and they've just got a very distinctive outline so I'm almost painting them in silhouette to suggest them there. Now the painting's dry, I'm going to use the pens. Um, I use a brush pen to start with, uh, it's all linked down below. Uh, and that's just to give the window panes some strong blue as though it's reflecting the sky. And then this is my Staedtler fine liner for the spider's web and I'll use this to outline my birds as well. I love how the pen outlines all the winter foliage as well. They really then stand out in the foreground. You feel they're very near you. Time for some bullet journal lettering. I'm using the black outliner to go around all my letters to start with. I drew this back in week four, as you can see. Um, and then I'm going to use a nice color brush pen to fill in the letters. The quote I chose was really about not giving up even when you want to, uh, which was really to do with me being on a, a rather strict diet and really struggling with it at the time.
this navy blue brush pen colour really stands out against the background. I really love it. And because this is a winter scene, I get my white gel pen, again linked down below, to put in the snow and um, cover those branches and give the birds little eyes and things like that, just to finish off this spread. I hope you love it. And here is the finished piece. Now we're on to the final page for this video, which is a more expressive representation of the same hogweed and teasels that I had in the previous spread. I'm using my permanent Staedtler pen to draw out those beautiful architectural elements that you see in hogweed. Um, it almost fans out like an umbrella the spokes of an umbrella and the seeds are there in winter and they become little white flowers in the summer. Teasels are a little different, they're cone shaped, the heads are full of little spiky needles with these curly tendrils that curl round the actual cone. As someone who loves to paint and draw flowers and plants I find these to be very inspirational and special. I hope you love them too. So that's the finished drawing. We're now going to mix up that famous blue and brown to create some greys. Add in the yellow ochre to get some dark greens as well. That's going to be for the seed heads as that's the colour they are in winter. Then I use a blue grey mix to put in the background with a few splatters just to create some nice atmosphere. I use the same colour for my days of the week and dry with the hairdryer. I use a slightly more concentrated blue mix to highlight certain areas to make the flowers stand out and really look like a bunch of fireworks bursting in the sky. The final touch is using a brush pen, this one's a ready brown colour, for all the spokes of the umbrella and all the curling tendrils just to finish the painting off. And of course the final touch has to be the trusty white gel pen for all the snow. It just looks beautiful. I really love this page. I hope you do too. I always find lettering so calming after doing my paintings in my bullet journal spreads. It just sort of gives it order and um, I look forward to using the page which is the whole point of decorating your bullet journal in my view. This is the navy blue brush pen that I used on the other page just to finish it off. And there you have it, the completed two pages. I hope you've loved this video. Do give me a thumbs up or leave a comment, the feedback's much appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe, of course. Bye for now. See you next week.